What's going on everybody? It's Mark here with another video and today we are going to be talking about the iPad Pro and note taking again. This is a topic that you guys really enjoy watching. This is a topic that I really like showing you guys and together we will answer a few more questions in regards to actually note taking on the iPad Pro for students or for a professional or for someone who just likes to write things down on a glass surface. Before we get into the itty and gritty of iPad Pro note taking, let me tell you what iPad I have and what iPad I recommend for you. Me personally, I have a 12.9 inch iPad and I believe that is the perfect size for a student. Yes, I know it comes at a little bit more of a price. That extra couple hundred bucks has a huge benefit for you and you'll enjoy the device much, much more. That being said, there are uses for the little smaller ones, the 9.7 or the 10.5. Those are great devices. They're still compatible with the Apple Pencil and the Apple keyboard and they are fantastic devices. But I got mine to replace a piece of paper and this happens to be that exact size pretty much. I wanted to transition from piece of paper to iPad very, very easy. But if you don't mind writing on a little bit of a smaller surface, those are perfect for you. The first question you guys probably have is what app do you use? Right now on the market, there is a ton of great applications that you can use as a note taker. Good notes, OneNote, Evernote, notes on the iPad, Notability, Note Shelf, and the list goes on and on. Me personally, I've stuck to one kind of through trial and error. I kind of land on this one and it works the best for me and that is Notability. So let me tell you why. Organization and printing. Bizarre, right? Let, let me explain. So when you open up Notability, you are greeted by a very kind of systematic way of doing your notes. You kind of have these folders. Within those folders, you kind of have separate folders that you can kind of divide all your notes in. And in those last little folders there, you have your actual notes. And that's the way it should be. A lot of the other applications kind of have similar ways of doing it, but I just like the visual way that Notability does it. Very tabular, very systematic. That That's how my brain thinks, I think, like this. Maybe for you, you got, you got the folders, you got other ways of looking at it. This for me works the best. And printing, what do I mean by printing? So Notability, the default page size is pretty much eight and a half by 11, which is a regular piece of paper. For me, a lot of the times I would upload those notes, I don't know, onto my Google Drive to have on other devices, or I would share them with friends, family, what, whatever the case may be, and there would be regular sheets of paper for them to view easily on whatever device they're viewing them on, or to actually physically imprint. A lot of the other applications, for example, OneNote, you kind of get this infinity window. But sharing those notes, if you don't have OneNote, is a nightmare. You can print them to PDF and then you just get all these separate pages and they all, you have to compile them and they just, it doesn't work as easy as I wanted it for myself to be. And it is amazing to write with. It's precision, it's calligraphy, algorithm or whatever it has going on here works. Okay, so that's why I chose Notability. Let me show you some of the cool features of Notability really quickly to kind of show you how great it is. I started another note right here and you're greeted by the sheet of paper. You have all these different options of kind of styles of paper that you would like. Go into the settings, paper, and you can have small grids, big lines, bigger grid, and change the different textures of paper. But for me, what I like is the white with the smallest lines. That kind of replicates an exact piece of paper. Like I said, I wanted a piece of paper to iPad to be as easy as possible. And there you go. You're greeted by this piece of paper. Looks exactly like a piece of paper and it writes exactly like a piece of paper. One thing I do want to address about this iPad Pro note taking thing, you need this. This is the Apple Pencil. It is the only stylus you are allowed to use. This is the only stylus that will do this device just all the other ones are kind of third party. They're meant for the other iPads. There's a reason why this one works the best and it is this precision. It's fantastic. It's literally like writing on a piece of paper. How many times have I said that already? Six, seven, eight? I don't know, literally piece of paper. 10. So writing on Notability, it is very, very easy and fluid. Let me show you. Let me write a sentence for you. Hello, my name is Mark. That is what my handwriting looks like. There's no extra swooshes, there's nothing there. The palm rejection works fantastically. Everything works the way it should. There's a few other tips that you could actually do here. There's been an update to Notability to my previous video if you haven't watched it, check it out. But now you can actually draw straight lines. You tap 
and you hold and now you have a straight line wherever you would like and it snaps into place. You also have a magnitude of different colors that you can choose from. You can now have a highlighter and you can also use text so you can type if you want the Apple keyboard and you can make regular files kind of like a Word file. But that's how you kind of use it. Let me show you the end results. So let me go into one of my classes here, design for shear. So this is what I was learning for designing for a shear member in concrete. It's like writing on a piece of paper. This, I swear by this thing. I'm in love with this thing. I think that any other tablet has no chance against this thing. I mean, they, they're different. They have their perks. I'm a diehard fan. Like, look, look at this. This is so organized, so easy for me to follow, for me personally. And you can organize the notes the best way you can, but this is, this is what they will look like at the end if you're using the Apple Pencil. Another great thing about the iPad Pro is that you can actually use things like PDFs and books. So a lot of time professors will actually upload a PDF with Notability and like all the other apps. You can bring in the PDF and annotate and use as your note. So here I have a PDF, I can write on it, I can circle things. I can make things stand out a little bit better with the highlighter. I can bring in photos from my camera roll and put in here and annotate on those. The possibilities are endless. So let me show you a few tricks that I actually used when taking notes in class. So we're in class, we're taking notes by hand, the professor's going through some interesting things and all of a sudden he throws up or she throws up a chart on the board and you need to take that picture because he or she is not gonna upload it online. So you kinda have to be a little bit more resourceful, right? Well, if you hit this plus button, take a photo, bring up the iPad, uncover your camera, snap a picture, right there. There's a picture, use photo, and there it is. Then you can crop it and size it as you so desire. Say there's something important on that image, you can highlight it and it's now in your notes. Another question I get is how do I get my textbooks on my iPad? The best way you can do that is contact the publisher. Yes, I know it might cost you some money, but you're gonna have to buy the textbooks anyways, so you might as well get an electronic copy as well. A lot of publishers, they sell the actual book in an electronic copy. You might have to do that, or you can email them and see if, if you have proof that you've actually purchased the book, they might send over to you the PDF copy of that. If not, I'm sure there's versions online that you can get. Okay, so that's kind of covers the basics of notability and how you can use it to your advantage. But now with iOS 11, we can get even fancier. Now with iOS 11, you can kind of pull up your tab here and have Safari as a floating window or any application as a floating window for you while you're taking your note. Say you're in class and you don't know something that's relevant to the class. You can quickly search in Google what that word might be. Once you find that definition of that said word, you can write down the definition or you can screenshot it or copy and paste it. Let me show you. So say I don't know the definition of video. I type in define video. Watch this. Tap and hold and now the text is within Notability. This goes along with all the other applications as well. But how crazy is that? Moving, moving things. iOS 11, you're doing it right. Now again with iOS 11, new feature that I think is very important for us iPad users, the file look and tab. You have access to all your cloud accounts. You have access to your iCloud drive, your Google Drive, and your Dropbox. Why this is great? Guess what? Notability backs up on the cloud. I personally use Google Drive, but very simply, you tap your Google Drive account there, you have all your files. So here are all my files, very, very quickly, easily accessible for you if anything ever goes wrong. You can also use this to store and share different things with other people, your actual personal computer, whatever the case may be. This is kind of a very good hub for you to use as a real computer. We're kind of making that portal between tablet and a computer, we're making that bridge a little bit shorter. So that's really great. So I very quickly kind of just went over a few things that I think are important about the iPad Pro and note taking as a whole. I hope this kind of left you a little bit more informed. Of course, if you have more questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. But for now, thanks again for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. And for additional brownie points, please follow me on all of my social media. Links can be found in the description. But for now, thanks, and I will see you on the next one.